Okay, well, if you're like me and you haven't even thought about what you're doing this weekend, fear no more because our Weekend Insiders are back with a look at what's happening on this fantastic Friday the 13th weekend. So really don't fear. We have good stuff going on this weekend. And of course, in Dallas, what do we always like to talk about? Food. We love food. We love to eat. Eating and shopping is the name of the game this weekend. So tell us about this new... So D. Lincoln, everyone knows from D. Lincoln's Bubble Bar. Right. She's now opened a burger bar. Yeah, everybody says, does Dallas need another steakhouse? And, and they, the answer is... It is yes, yes when D. Lincoln is behind it. And I asked you if you had been there, and you said you have, and you said that I, woman knows what she's doing. I said D is the master of meat. She's fantastic. Everything she does is Heard it here first. Her new restaurant is D. Lincoln Steak and Burger Bar. And what she's done is she's made a comfortable environment for you to enjoy a masterfully created steak. Um, the atmosphere is very, very cool and comfy. She's got about 10 different uh, hamburgers to choose from. Oh my goodness. Um, the food is just delicious and she, she knows what she's doing. She's on top of her game. So is this a place, it's open for lunch and dinner, correct? It's open so for lunch and dinner. is it kid friendly, is it family friendly, or I could go there on like a sexy Friday night? If you want, if you have a date and you want to take a date and impress her, you would take her there. If you've got kids and you want to do a kids night out, take them there as well. If you had a boss, you wanted to go have steak or burgers and like it's perfect, casual perfect, but perfect. it's still good food. They've got outdoor seating, they've got an enclosed patio. Um, it's located in Uptown on House Street, 2626 What's House that Street. next to? Um, it's next to the Quadrangle, across the street okay. from the Quadrangle. Oh, perfect, where um, JoJo's, 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 JoJo's used kitchen, to be. Old okay. JoJo's kitchen space. Perfect. But she's renovated and she's she's doing her thing, man. I, I would definitely I would definitely tell everybody to go and buy And something buy and that I'm excited about, about D. Lincoln's Steak and Burger Bar, 100 wines under $100. <laughs> so I'll be washing my burger down with a glass of Chardonnay. Okay, Brie, now if we're hungry and we work up an appetite, we need to go, or after we are done eating, we need to go shop and like work right. it all off and get some so, Alton Lane, retail cardio. And people might be familiar with Alton Lane because they've got other locations in New York, Chicago, Atlanta, but they've just opened in Dallas and they're uh -huh. actually in between um, Ocean Prime and D. Lincoln's Bubble Bar over oh, there okay. on Cedar Springs. And like in Rosewood Court. Yes, yes exactly. exactly. Um, and it's a men's custom clothier. So they basically, in there, it's, you could see the pictures. It's gorgeous. There's about six different rooms. You can see all the custom fabrics and patterns and... It's all Timothy Olton furniture. They've got a full bar in there, so that's kind of fun. Now, what I think is interesting, Brie, is a lot of people hear custom clothing and they think, I'm going to have to break the bank and I'm going to spend $500 on a to. shirt. Right. But the custom shirts start at $89. I mean, right. you're going to spend more than that at J. Crew. Absolutely. And they've got custom suits that start at about $550. Which you're going to spend more than that at right. Macy's or well, Nordstrom. And the difference with them, so they've got this three-dimensional machine that the men go in and they stand there. It takes all of their... Yeah. Their dimensions. Sizes, dimensions, everything, and then it's digitally put on their computer screen, and they're able to choose pa patterns and fabrics and see what a mock-up of the suit would look like. That is too cool. So, I wish they did that for women. I know. I want to like walk in and stand <laughs> in a machine and them go, "Perfect, here's your sizes. Now take all this." Yeah. So it's it's exciting for us to have another spot here in Dallas to do that. Right. Awesome, awesome. Okay, now once again, weekend in Dallas wouldn't be complete without more food. Right. <laughs> This one I'm very... What's this other restaurant? I'm really thrilled about this. Everyone knows Miko Rodriguez. Miko Rodriguez is the creator of um, um, Miko Sino and Taco Diamond. So you know this place is going to be the bomb. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Macero. Yes. And Mr. Macero. So Mr. Macero was his first restaurant back into the scene, and it has done extremely well. And what he wanted to do is kick it up a notch. So he created Macero Miguel. Macero Miguel is located on... Um, I saw that Henderson. picture and I saw a fried egg on something, is all <laughs> I know. And I got really excited. What, what is that? What, so what is that? It's on a hamburger, actually. Jesus, take yeah. the wheel. That looks <laughs> so good. Okay. What's so great about this restaurant, it's, um, it's, it's, it's fresh, it's clean. If you remember your first time you stepped in Mikosina and how you were wowed and it took the, the Mexican taste of food to another level, this is going to blow your mind. Oh, um, very goodness. light colors, extremely modern. It's, it's true in the Miko Rodriguez fashion. Well, like, I hear there's like lobster rolls with like garlic and lemon butter. Is your mouth watering yet? Because <laughs> mine is. And it's on uh, the Henderson side. Yeah, not. It's, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we've got burgers. We've got Mexican food and we've got shopping. What more do you need in the city of Dallas, Texas, ladies and gentlemen? How about it? Nothing. How about okay. It? You guys, you want more information about the Weekend Insiders? Well, don't worry because we've got you covered. Just go to their Facebook page and you get there by going to dthebroadcast.tv. Okay. Up next, we are live in the Broadcast Music Cafe. Tori Collins is here and she is going to sing us a little song. Stick around for that.